The Geneva Motor Show is always one of our favorite events on the yearly automotive calendar. It's the preferred venue for the debut of supercars, high performance variants, and globally relevant mainstream models. At MotorOne.com, we've covered just about everything from this year's Geneva show. Now we want to take you on a video tour of the high points from 2017. Legendary French brand Alpine has been threatening a return to the European market for years, with tasty concept cars at auto shows around the world. This year, the company has gotten real with the production A110 Coupe. The Alpine reboot seems to be a lightweight sporting machine in the mold of cars like the Lotus Elise and the Alfa Romeo 4C. The A10 weighs in at about 2,400 pounds, powered by a 252 horsepower turbocharged 1.8 liter 4. We'll miss it in the US, but European customers can buy the Alpine starting in the later part of 2017, and the car will be on sale in Japan in 2018. If this stunner of a Bentley convertible looks a little familiar, it should. This EXP12 Speed 6E concept takes off from the very stylish starting place of the EXP10 Speed 6 concept from two years back. This time around, the car is electrically motivated, hence the E added to the 6, and obviously open air. Technical details are scant, though there are allusions to a 257 mile range and a 200 mile per hour speedo to work with. Meanwhile, we love the details we can see, including the stunning oxblood red leather interior and tonneau cover. It wouldn't be a proper Geneva Motor Show without a new Ferrari, and we weren't disappointed this year. Though we're not sold on the name, the Ferrari 812 Superfast does have the stats to back up its remarkable Italian design. The 6.5 liter engine under that long hood is Ferrari's most powerful naturally aspirated V12 ever, making 789 horsepower and 530 pound-feet of torque. Expect this spectacular GT to hit 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and carry on to a VMAX of 211. Amongst a wealth of high-performance machinery here in Switzerland, this little fast Ford promises to be perhaps the most democratic. The 2018 Fiesta ST will offer driving thrills in a practical and diminutive package, and likely at a price point that many driving enthusiasts can afford. While output and performance figures are all up in the new Fiesta, cylinder count is down. The turbocharged 1.6 liter four cylinder has been replaced with a ripping turboed 1.5 three banger. But horsepower jumps by 17 to 197 and torque by 37 pound feet to a healthy 214. Honda nerds are beside themselves these days. Not only has the new Type R appeared in production form here in Geneva, but Honda promises it'll be sold in the US for the first time ever. We're stoked. The high hat should be downright scalding too. The two liter turbo four will pump out 306 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque, all going to the front wheels, but mercifully making use of a limited slip differential. Throw in a proper six speed manual with rev matching, and we're talking about a car that should bring fight to the sport compact market in a serious way. One of the best new SUV designs we've seen in years is prepped to wear the Range Rover badge with the debut of the new Velar model here in Geneva. This is the production form of the new model, which will slot above Evoque and under Range Rover Sport in the brand's portfolio. Going on sale sometime this summer, the Velar will come to the US with a familiar lineup of Land Rover corporate engines. That means a 2.0T making 247 horsepower and a supercharged V6 with 380, both burning gasoline. If you prefer diesel, there will be a TD6 option slotting into the middle of the trim lines and pushing out 180 fuel efficient horsepower. Styling of the outrageous new McLaren 720S might be controversial when compared to the 650S it replaces, but its jaw-dropping performance shouldn't be. A hard-working turbocharged 4-liter V8 is pushing out 710 horsepower and 537 pound-feet of torque. If somehow those numbers don't impress you much, remember that the curb weight is a scant 2,800 pounds, so performance figures should be impressive. Estimates include a 2.8 second run to 60 miles per hour, and a top speed of 212. Expect pricing to be slightly higher than that of the 650S, meaning if you could afford the older model, you'll probably want to get your McLaren dealer on the phone soon. If Mercedes proved anything at this year's Geneva show, it's that the company is willing to compete in any and all segments. Not only did it bring a luxury pickup truck to the event and an ultra luxury convertible off-roader, but it's also throwing a challenge at the Porsche Panamera with this GT concept. 
The impossibly red concept car has a hybrid powertrain, combining a bi-turboed 4.0 liter V8 engine with a rear-mounted electric motor. Results are impressive if theoretical. 805 horsepower and a sub 3 second 0-60 time. A production version of this GT may be on sale by 2018, though we doubt if the candy foil paint scheme will be on the option sheet. While other automakers focus on the quickest, wildest, or most conceptual metal here in Geneva, Subaru has its eye on the hottest segment worldwide, compact SUVs. The Japanese company has chosen the Swiss show as the venue for its all-new XV, otherwise known as the Crosstrek in the States. Styling stays true to what has been a big success story for Subaru, with a slightly lower stance and slicker bodywork, nicely updating the compact five-door form. Ground clearance is still a very useful 8.6 inches for the all-wheel driver, meaning owners who regularly use rutted roads or travel lightly off them should rest easy. Power from the 2.0-liter Boxer 4 has been bumped up to 154 horsepower and connected to a new CVT with seven simulated ratios. Pagani routinely blows minds with not only its crazy performance figures, but also lovely attention to detail. Such is certainly the case with the new Wyra Roadster. Our fevered driving dreams may revolve around hearing that mid-mounted 6-liter V12 at full song, but in the meantime, elements like the quilted leather on the floorboards and the impossible shape of the wing mirrors surprise and delight. This wild 764 horsepower convertible will remain a dream vehicle for most. A production run of just 100 cars and a sticker price of 2.4 million certainly will help to maintain the all-important exclusivity. Porsche is iterating on its Panamera in a way that car nerds will be pretty stoked about. We're getting a wagon, guys! The company might not be using the W word for this Panamera Sport Turismo, but the extended cargo area and longer roof tell the real tale. This new car can now accommodate some 48 cubic feet of stuff, with the rear seats down, meaning a great addition of functionality to a car with great performance, too. The Sport Turismo should roughly replicate the Panamera's engine lineup, with power ranging from 330 to 550 horsepower in the top-line turbo trim. A hybrid version and a diesel will follow as well. Pricing will start in the mid $90,000 range and extend up and over 150 grand. With most information leaking out well ahead of actual show debuts, occasional surprises like this new Volvo XC60 Hybrid always add a dose of excitement. The Volvo crossover is worth the attention, too. This is a shapely utility vehicle, following in the stylish footprints of cars like the S90 and the XC90. Power for this show stand version comes from the XC92. The hybrid T8 power plant is under the hood, meaning an electric motor mated to a supercharged and turbocharged 2.0-liter for a system output of 407 horsepower. Expect other Volvo family engines to be available as well when the XC60 starts its sales run this summer. Thanks everybody for following along with us in Switzerland. If you guys want any more information on anything you've seen in this video, point your browsers at motor1.com. And as ever, we'd love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave us some comments or questions below, and you can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter.